Hello, I'm David Chester with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news Wall Street is up 1% in late trading today. But first, a few minutes ago, the US Fed released the minutes of its last meeting, and those show it is unlikely to raise its policy rate at its next meeting on April 28. Policymakers have turned more cautious, especially wary of global stresses, more so than their domestic situation. They are trying not to signal an inappropriate urgency. But unless those global headwinds change the expanding US economy, their caution will only delay the next hike by a meeting or so. The Panama Papers may have taken down a democratically elected Prime Minister, but the countries with less open governments are responding much more defensively. China has blocked any conversation about the issue. But the evidence that powerful Chinese families have used tax havens to shelter their personal wealth is mounting, implicating even President Xi. Not that anyone in China will know, however. There is still no major scalp revealed in New Zealand yet, apart from our general reputation, of course. And staying in China, on average, each person now has four bank cards. That's according to an official report. That's 5.1 billion debit cards and 432 million credit cards. And on those credit cards, they've borrowed $1.6 trillion. More from China, people there were more enthusiastic about buying a car in March as fuel costs fell and the perception of current timing for buying a car turned more favourable. Their car purchase indicator, a composite indicator designed to gauge future demand for cars, rose to 91.4 in March from 88.2 in February, marking its third consecutive increase and its highest reading since May 2014. The latest international air freight volume data shows some trade headwinds, however. Volumes were down a sizable 5.6% in February compared with the same month a year ago. But one big factor distorts the result. Last year, there was a US port strike which unusually boosted overall volumes. Adjusting for this, IATA says freight growth in the first two months of 2016 is up 3.2%. In New York, the benchmark US Treasury 10-year yield is steady at 1.75%. Equities on Wall Street are high about, by about 1%, given a push by the tone of the Fed minutes. The oil price is rising today too, now at $38 a barrel in the US, while Brent is just under $40 a barrel. Markets are surprised by the higher-than-expected draw on US crude stocks in the last week as demand rises there. The gold price is down though, now at $1,221 an ounce erasing yesterday's gain. And finally, the New Zealand dollar will start today, still in its range at 68 US cents, 89.8 Aussie cents, and 59.7 Euro cents. The TWI is at 71.1. I'm David Chaston, and that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.